Well, of course, when you realise that there's a new film coming and there's a script about to come over, you try not to go, where am I? Where am I? And, and I resisted that. And um, it was, it's just lovely because it's you just think, oh, my gosh, this is different. It's totally different. We're going in a different... It is a new era. And there's a different um, vibe to it all together. I mean, it's a fantastic, fresh, new idea. And it puts every all the characters in a different kind of conundrum, which is really good fun, yeah. Well, I suppose the two main things, the sort of themes, or if you like, in the film are literally Hollywood comes to Downton, which who'd, who'd ever imagine that happening? And that brings all kinds of chaos and romance and fights and God knows what. And the other half is that um, the family go over to the most exquisitely beautiful villa in France. So we see them playing around on the south, in the, on the Riviera, which is gorgeous. Apart from working with Sophie McShearer, which has been a joy always, um, I have to say the scenes we do with Paul Copley have always been so lovely. He's a wonderful actor, I think, and he, I love his character. Um, he brings such a kind of warmth and honesty to it. I just love Mr. Mason. Um, and what's, it's been very slow, but it's very clear that they are uh, interested in each other, fond of each other, but quite correctly, in at that time, a woman like Mrs. Patmore would be very cautious and shy about declaring how she was feeling. He's been a little less shy, and very gradually he's laid a few hints that he might find her an interesting and nice woman. And I think she's finding that very exciting and lovely to hear, but neither of them are the sort that are going to leap into action. So it's the slowest burn, but i am it's kind of sweet, I think. Well, I think all the characters downstairs have a different view, their slightly different view of, of what they feel about this invasion. I mean, Daisy is completely over the moon, besotted, wetting her what's it's because she's so excited. Because she's, she's you know, the, in those days they would go and watch movies and they would be, these would be, I mean, it's a bit like goddesses walking into the house. I mean, it would be mind-blowing for them. And Anna Bates is the same. You know, they all have little cuttings of their favourite stars. Mrs. Patmore, not so thrilled, really, because she always uh, is aware of people coming and disrupting her regime, I think, and, and she doesn't know what to expect, and she's always just more cautious. She's not as twinkly about it all. She's a little bit more practical. Well, it was interesting having Simon come and direct this because I only knew him vaguely, and he, he said to me very early on, he said, well, this has always been Elizabeth's gig, Elizabeth McGovern being his wife. Um, so we've known him, but I've not known him very well. And what he did, which was really sweet, I thought, and helpful and respectful and kind, was he invited everybody to have a coffee with him early on, just so he could sit down and chat. And he said, really, all I want to say is, um, you know what you're doing. I know you know your character very well, and I'm not going to be in your way, but I want you to know I'm there to help if you need help. And that's what more could you ask, actually, from a director. When you have such a good writer as Julian, um, you, you're you lucky enough to, to know that, that he'll have a radar, possibly, about what, what your strengths are. And it wasn't just me, it was everybody for sure. But what he sensed very early on was two things, I suppose. One was Sophie playing Daisy and I were very close, very quickly. We got on really, really well. We have a very, you know, we, I adore her. I think she's wonderful as a person and as an actress and, and we respect each other very much. So there was, there was a, a lot, there was a lot of, you know, places to go with that and he did so he developed as we know that that relationship but also we also have the same sense of humor and um so he picked up on that and, and it is my good fortune that he wrote me I mean he did say once he said I sort of gave her the downstairs version of, of the dowager's wit you know a kind of different version but but he did he gave me some killer lines 
for which I'm very grateful. <laughs> what I do know is that it has been of some help to many people during the pandemic, for sure, people have rewatched it and it's given them a sort of comfort and, a, you know, a sense of visiting family almost, feeling cosy in some way, I don't know, reassured, I don't know. People will have different um, feelings about it. But I also know, even through the series, there were more, more critical points in people's lives where this became important. I mean, to be really at, at an extreme, you know, we had a family who, who, they were losing their mother in a hospice and the only thing they could really do together was watch Downton, which they did, and, and she was able to see it and be comforted by it. And they'll always remember that. That was something that just aided them through a really horrible time. And um, that's, that's a real privilege to be part of something that would have that effect on people. Well, I wouldn't want anybody to see the film other than on the big screen because it's usually pr pretty exciting visually, but this time it's visually exciting with bells on, to be honest, because you've got lots going on at the castle and uh, then you've got France, you know, and it's stunning, it's absolutely stunning. It's lovely to see that those actors out there doing their thing and looking amazing. Um, so I think it's... It's, it's a feel-good movie. There's a lot that will make people... And it's funny. It's killer funny. Um, and it's entertaining. And it's, it's, it will be a very happy distraction, I think, for, for a couple of hours after a time when people have been really pushed and feeling, you know, low and lonely and, and cut off. This hopefully will be a, something that will make them smile and make them feel a bit hugged. <laughs>